Hi, I'm Mike, Pokétips Mike, and look at that right there. Look at that beautiful title screen. <sighs> we did it, guys. We did it. Welcome back to episode number 24 of my Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. So last time, as you can probably tell by looking at the title screen, we managed to beat Champion Leon, so we're the brand new champions of the Gala region. But that doesn't mean our adventure is over quite yet, because when we start up the game right here, we see this cool little cutscene. And I don't know about you, but something is telling me we need to go to the Slumbering Weld. So, we might have become the champion, but we're not quite done just yet. Now, first things first, and this is kind of weird, we do have to put away a Pokémon that we lost last time. I didn't do this at the end of last episode because I thought it would have been kind of weird to, like, say, Okay, we just beat the champion, but now we gotta put away our dead Pokémon. So instead, I'm starting the episode off like this. Which, again, is equally as weird. Harry, rest in peace, buddy. Your work will not be forgotten. But anyway, ooh, the doorbell's ringing. Who's there? Congratulations, champion! Here, I've got a little something for you as a celebration. And we get the Master Ball! Professor Magnolia, why, you didn't have to come all this way. After everything Poketips has achieved, it's really the least I can do. The wishing stars that make Dynamaxing possible are parts of Eternatus, and when Eternatus was awakened, Dynamax energy flooded the entire region. Because of that, Dynamax Pokémon were popping up all over, causing trouble all across Galar. I hope everyone will use the power of Dynamaxing correctly in the days to come. So, young Poketips, please do what you believe is best. Poor Professor Magnolia. It seems she's quite bothered by the chairman's actions since she helped carry out so much of the researching into Dynamaxing for him. Yeah, I can imagine. When you devote your life to researching Dynamax and helping out somebody and then they use it to awaken an evil Eternaboom, I would be pretty upset too. But now, before we do any of the crazy stuff, there are two Pokémon that I at least want to look at. So this one, unfortunately, we can't actually use. But we're gonna go into Hop and Leon's house right here. Let me just double check and make sure we can't actually use this thing. Oh, that's weird. Ron is silver now. I don't know what happened there. But yeah, we met Ron in the town of Postwick, so we can't actually use the Pokemon here. But as we all know, once you beat the game, there's this little Pokeball with a Charmander, Charmander, on the floor here in Leon's room. So I want to pick this up and see what it actually is. So the game says you received the Charmander, but it is an egg? Huh? We got an egg? That's a little weird. Yeah, that's so weird. Okay. Uh, we just have this random egg that came from the mystery zone met on 00200. And the egg is apparently going to hatch soon. All right, well, this is really weird. I was not expecting this. I guess I messed something up when I randomized the game. Uh, let's hope the game doesn't crash here. I know the game likes to crash a lot when weird things happen, but you know what? We're gonna try hatching this egg. <laughs> this is kind of weird. I was not expecting a glitchy egg. Well, let's run on over to Route 1, Golden Gardevoir. It's been a while since we've been to Route 1, and look, there's another Norberts. Oh, that's so sad. I wonder if we're actually going to be able to hatch this egg, though. Alright, so I've been running around a lot and nothing has popped up at all, so I guess I'll keep this egg on my team for now. But I don't know if it's actually gonna hatch. This is really, really weird. I wonder what Leon gave me. I guess I'll just have to remember to save periodically because I don't want the game to crash after I do a whole bunch of stuff. But now the second thing that I want to do, and I'm hoping this one actually works and doesn't give me another glitchy egg, is go over here to the Battle Tower. Now this is something we actually should be able to use, this little type null over here. Because I know we definitely didn't catch anything from the Battle Tower. So let's go ahead and talk to this lady. Oh, Champion Poketips. It probably goes without saying at this point, but congratulations on your victory. To commemorate your achievement, I present present you with this rare Pokemon, Type Null. Okay, and just like the Charmander it's saying, we received Type Null, but what is it actually? Oh no, ah! All right guys, it looks like gift Pokemon are just not my thing. All right, my friends. Well, I turned back on the game. Luckily, we didn't do too much, so it didn't take me too long to replay through all that. I also went back into Leon's house and picked up the egg again, so I'm hoping that it doesn't crash the game or do anything crazy, but I really would like to see it hatch. I'm also pretty disappointed because I really thought that we were going to get some sort of special gift Pokemon after we beat the game, but no, it just doesn't work when it's randomized, whatever. 
So anyway, let's come back to the slumbering weld here. It feels like we were just here, and once again, I'm still getting lost going for those dead ends. But anyway, let's see what that cutscene in the beginning was all about. Let's see what's going on here at the slumbering weld. Oh wow, this area looks really, really nice. It's also very aesthetic for my car. I feel like one of those Instagram people that like takes videos, really aesthetic photos of their car, like vroom, vroom, vroom. There we go. Oh, Hop, you're here too. Huh? Pokey tips? What are you doing here in the woods? What about you, Hop? What are you doing here? Nobody ever comes in here, since this is the forest where Zashian and Zamazenta rested. It's the best place to do a bit of thinking, since it's so quiet and all. You say you felt something was calling you here, Pokey Tips. That's... Mate, that's pretty uncanny. Oh, but I haven't had the chance to tell you. Congratulations on your victory, Pokey Tips. Honestly, Pokey Tips, I never thought you'd manage to beat my brother. The greatest champion Galar ever had. He was undefeatable till you came around. It's still actually pretty hard to believe. Pokey Tips, do you think... Would you be up for one more battle? Wow, this is kind of sudden. Sure, let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done this. I forgot we just jump right into a battle with him. Well, let me see. We've got kind of a sketchy team right now. Five Pokemon and a weird looking egg, but I think we can go ahead and do it. We just beat Champion Leon, so I'm assuming Hop's got to be a lightweight, right? Let's go ahead and do it. Ah, wow, this is beautiful. Beautiful area, beautiful background, and this is going to be a very beautiful victory as well once we take Hop to the cleaners. Ah, Quillfish, though. Is that a shiny Quillfish? Yeah. I couldn't tell if that was a mod or if that was just plain shiny. That pinkish purplish color is really nice on the Quillfish, though. I do like it. Now, I'm not really a huge fan of how it resists my bug moves, and what's it going for here? Hail! Why would you make it hail, Quillfish? As far as I know, that doesn't benefit you in any way. I guess it makes it a little easier to see you. The background isn't as bright anymore. Uh, I guess I'll try going for Sucker Punch one more time. Baneful Bunker. Wow, this thing really does not want to attack me. Alright, well, you know what? In this case, I'm just gonna swap out into the Patronus over here. Bellatrix, unfortunately, can't do too much to this Quillfish. I think Patronus should be able to take it out just fine, though. I originally didn't swap into this thing because I didn't want to take a poison attack, but honestly, I don't think Quillfish can do too much to me. So let's go ahead and hit this thing with the Giga Drain. Oh, but it's got to go for that Baneful Bunker again. I feel like in this randomizer, more than any other game I've ever played, the Pokemon that I fight against love to use moves that protect themselves for a turn. And then after that turn, they don't really do anything crazy to follow up. Like here, it's going for Water Pulse. All right, well, let's take out this Quillfish once and for all. That thing was annoying. Hopefully the rest of your team isn't like this. I hope you just have some cool Pokemon. I would love to see some cool stuff, but please don't use Protect every single time. You know, you had that Flygon a few episodes ago that was doing that. Now you've got Malamar. Oh my gosh, is that another shiny? My guy has two shinies. Well, now let's swap into Bellatrix. If Bellatrix doesn't take a lot of damage here, Bellatrix is going to do just fine. But I remember in one of the early episodes, Hop had a lot of shinies, and it's looking like that's happening here again. I guess another thing he was doing in here was lots and lots of shiny hunting. Oh yeah, good job Bellatrix. One hit KOing that shiny Malamar. Now, are you going to have three shiny Pokemon, Gudra? Yes! Oh my gosh, this guy has three shinies! There's a 10% chance of a trainer having a shiny Pokemon out. Outrage, that's not gonna be too fun. Are we staying in? Yes, we are. But there's a 10% chance of a trainer having shiny Pokemon, and so far, Hop is three for three. Alright, well, at least since it's locked into Outrage, we know it's going to be attacking us this turn, so we'll go for that Sucker Punch, get a little bit more damage on it, and then it'll swap us out when it hits us with the Outrage, so I guess this works out fine for me. Alright, Guja, hit me! I want to take it! Hit me! Ooh, 22 HP. Maybe I don't want to take that. Never mind. But now it's a nice confused shiny Gudra. Hmm, now normally in this situation, I would be totally cool with switching Grindylo in and going for the Icy Wind, but I think that light screen is still up that they set up a few turns ago. So I want to go for something a little bit stronger. I guess with Lumos, we'll go for Shadow Ball, and again, I don't even know if this is going to knock it out. It's confused. Hurt yourself. No, it's going for Outrage again. This is going to hurt a lot. Please don't kill me. Okay, good. We made it through the champion battle. We are not going to die here to this shiny Gudra. Oh, wow, that does nothing. Well, the light screen's down. Let's bring out Grindylow now. It seems like whenever I have doubts and I don't bring Grindylow, I always should bring Grindylow out. Grindylow is amazing. Please, hurt yourself here. Do it. No! No! Don't give me that hope every single time you go for a move. My goodness, that does so much damage. 
Also, the scary thing is I know it's going to outspeed me because I just checked Chandelure's speed and Chandelure is faster than my Mantine. So if I don't heal here, we're dead. This is not looking good at all. Please, hurt yourself here? Please? No, it's gonna get the Outrage off again. And it can't get double confused, so... Ugh, this is annoying. We are just in an awful spot right now. We're gonna full restore again. Can you please do something else other than Outrage? I like that whole Quillfish before that was setting up Hail and going for all the goofy stuff. No, this is all this Gudra wants to do. Ugh, all right, I can't keep healing. Oh, it got confused here. Do I attack or do I swap? Attack or swap? I don't know. You know what, Grindylow's worked so hard. We're gonna swap. Let's bring out Patronus now. Oh my gosh, we are doing awful this battle. Two potions down, one potion left. Please, just hurt yourself here. One time, thank you. Okay, good. So I guess the smarter move last turn would have been to attack, but whatever. Hindsight is 2020. at least the Gudra is out of here now. But it is gonna hit us with Gooey on the way out, so we're gonna be slow going into the next Pokémon. So now, what do you guys think? Is the next Pokémon gonna be shiny too? Is it four out of the six Pokémon on this team gonna be shiny? Lanoon? Is that? No, that's regular. That's regular. Okay, breaking the shiny streak. Hop, you can't have a full team of shinies, but Photon Geyser coming from the Lanoon. That does a lot. It definitely does a lot, but we are living. And now we retaliate with a nice one-hit KO in return. Oh, a very nice critical hit too. Good job, Patronus. Oh my gosh, I think I underestimated Hop a lot going into this fight. I really think I underestimated Hop. If I knew it was going to be this tough, I probably should have brought my sixth Pokémon instead of having that egg on the team. Oh, nice. Bullet Punch on the Switch? Perfect. But you know what? We're good. We're really good. I was really worried against that shiny Gudra. I thought we might have lost somebody in that situation, but we somehow, someway got through it. Joe, hit him with the Pyro Ball. Take out that Escavalier. And now this is it. Hop's final Pokémon, Mamoswine? Okay. Oh, shiny Mamoswine. So what is that? Four out of the six Pokemon on his team were shiny. I said it a long time ago, but I think the point still stands. Hop is a hacker. Now we are in a risky spot right here. I'm kind of afraid of keeping Cho in because I don't want to take a strong Earthquake, but there's really nobody else that I could swap into that also wouldn't be in danger. So let's go for Pyro Ball and hope this does enough. We get a crit or something. We get a burn. Please, Cho, I don't want to lose you here. Let's take out this Mammal Swine. Oh, great. Thank you. I really didn't think that was going to one-shot the Mammal Swine. I thought it was going to survive and hit us with Earthquake and we were going to lose Cho or something crazy, but Cho, you did it. Thank you. I didn't expect there to be such a gap between you and me, mate. Well, yeah, there would be a pretty big gap because I'm the champion now. That means I'm a pretty strong trainer. So, there really is no way I could ever beat you. I mean, you even beat my unbeatable brother. And if it isn't the two of you again, Pokétips, congratulations on beating Leon. Sonya, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be off assisting the professor? Hop, I'm actually not working as my Grand's assistant any longer. In fact, I'm the professor now. I was just along for the ride on your adventure, but I ended up taking a real interest in the history of the Galar region. Ah, here, it's a book I wrote. I even signed it. That makes it a collector's item. <laughs> she gives us a copy of her book? That's it, you really know you're a successful professor once you've written a book. So, what are you youngins doing here? You were putting the rusted sword and the rusted shield back in their place, right? Yeah, that's what we were doing. We were just about to do that. Yeah, no, he wanted to hang on to that thing. You can't fool me. That must be it, Pokétips. Why you felt like you were called here. Let's put the sword and the shield back and say a proper thanks for all the help. Maybe if we do, we'll get to see Zacian and Zamazenta again someday. Yeah, let's put this thing back. I didn't even want it anyway. I'm sure it's very heavy to carry that thing around in my bag. All right, that about settles that. Pokétips, why don't you and I head back? What are you gonna do, Sonya? I think I'll stay here a bit longer. I want to do a little bit more research here in the forest. Hmm? My power spot detector is going off. Well, well, well. I thought we heard someone making some noise over this way. You wouldn't be the Professor Sonya who wrote the book Galar A History. Uh, hello. You bought my book? Why, yes, of course. Read it from cover to cover. That awful book was filled with lies, so we gave it a one star. <gasps> Those fiends leaving a one star review. I am Sword Ward. I am Shebert. We are the new kings of Galar. We're descendants of the first kings. Dude, your hair looks like it's about to fall off. 
Well, 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 could those things here be the fabled sword and shield? Well, 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 they certainly are dirty. They must be fake. I fear to touch them with my bare hands. If you've got a problem with us taking it, how about you prove who they really belong to, hmm? If it's really so important to you, perhaps we should settle this with a battle. We're celebrities who buy battles for twice what they're worth. I, the Magnificent Shilbert, am your opponent. Okay, good. At least I don't have to fight the one with the extremely crazy hair. Now, watch this guy also have a full team of shiny Pokemon. If he could buy a whole bunch of stuff, I would expect him to have some shinies. Ah, th there we go! Oh my goodness! What is it with the shinies this episode? Oh, and are you serious? We're just jumping right into this battle at 25 health? Oh boy, we're gonna lose some Pokemon this battle, and it's not even gonna be my fault. This is how the battles in the older Pokemon games used to be. I'm so used to the new generation just healing you up after every little thing. This is a big surprise to me. Oh, Grass Knot? Is that what you're going for? Oh wow, that does a lot to me. I thought that was gonna do a lot less. All right, Belle, please tell me you're faster than this thing, right? Yes, okay, good. At least we'll get one super effective bug bite off on this thing. Hopefully it's holding a berry. No, oh, breaking swipe. How much is that gonna do to me? Not as much as Grass Knot, okay. I was really thinking Grass Knot wasn't gonna do a lot of damage and breaking swipe would do a lot more. Weird, I guess this is full of surprises. Well, let's bring out Grindylo. I think Grindylo should be able to do all right here. Okay, let's hit this thing with an Air Slash. I think factoring in the stab, same type attack bonus, this is a little bit more powerful than Icy Wind, and hopefully we get a flinch here. No. No, we are not getting a flinch. How much is Breaking Swipe gonna do? Oh, bring us down to 41. I really wish the game healed us in between those battles because we are so, so not ready for this. If we could get through this battle without losing a Pokemon, I will be super impressed. I really don't think it's gonna happen though. All right, Dragapult, oh, bringing out another strong dragon Pokemon. Ugh, what do I even do in this situation? I have nobody. Well, let's try it. Let's go for a full restore. Second full restore already in this battle. This is nuts. This is nuts. And it's going for Draco Meteor. Hit us with the big moves right away. How much is this going to do to us? Oh, wow. Grindylow the champion taking that Draco Meteor like it's nothing making that Draco Meteor look like it did tackle to us, and now it's trying to raise its attack. Yeah, buddy, you're gonna need to hit us with a physical attack now, because honestly, you're not gonna do much at all after lowering your special with that Draco Meteor. This is a really good opportunity for us now. So I'm thinking I'm gonna hit this thing with a few Icy Winds, get it low on health, I'll probably also Roost to heal up, you know, Grindy Low, and I might even use my final Super Potion here to heal something else up so I at least have a Pokemon with full health on the team. Because this guy still has a lot of Pokemon left. But I don't know, it might be a little preempted to go ahead and heal something up, because I really don't know what I'm going to be using in this battle. Ooh, Spirit Shackle. Is that physical? That might hurt a lot if it is. I don't remember. Oh, yep, that's a physical move. That was a physical move. Grindy low, buddy. That's not even fair. That wasn't even fair. You didn't deserve to die that way. Well, thank you, Grindylow, for everything that you did. Taking out the champion, taking out Eternatus. It's a shame that you had to go down to this stupid-looking shield guy. Right, Lumos, I need you to come in and finish this job up for me. Now, I know Lumos can finish this thing now because Grindylow did the fantastic work earlier of slowing this thing down with the Icy Wind. So at least Grindylow sacrificed himself in a way that really helped me out because Dragapult is a very strong Pokemon. Oh, goodness gracious. We are not doing well at all right here right now. Barrascuda. All right, Lumos, get out of here. We're not having you fight a Barrascuda right now. Patronus, it's your turn. Let's hope you can take whatever Barrascuda wants to throw at us. Crab Hammer, it's missing! Yes, that's what we need right there. And let's hopefully get this Giga Drain off on this thing. Oh no, the crits! Oh. No, that wasn't fair at all. Goodness, Patronus only died there because Patronus got hit by a crit. Imagine if it didn't get hit by the crit, it Giga Drains, knocked that thing out, and it would have been at full health. We would have been so good, but now we're in trouble. We are in serious trouble right now. That Crab Hammer will knock out Cho, and it'll knock out Lumos. I honestly don't know how we're going to win this battle right now. I think this looks hopeless for us. Let's go for first impression. Let's hit it with something, do some damage to this thing. That's a lot of damage, but the Crab Hammer 
We do take it, but... Okay, good, we're still in here. We're still alive, and that's what matters. Let's use our last full restore. Oh, gosh, I hate saying that. Last full restore. Let's heal up Bellatrix, get her out of that low health range. And here we go, we gotta take another crab hammer, which is doing a lot of damage to us. Let's hope with some miracle here we can get a nice critical hit and knock this thing out with Sucker Punch. That would be fantastic. Oh, good! We didn't even need a crit. Perfect! Oh my gosh, but that's only three Pokémon. That's only three. If he is another strong Pokémon, we're done. Although Vespaquen, that isn't exactly what I would call strong. Cho, you're still kicking, you still have a lot of health, so I'm gonna bring you out here against this Vespaquen. Hopefully, it goes for something we resist. I want it to go for a weak bug move. Go for Bug Bite, go for Vital Throw, that's not what I was hoping you would do. Well, we do take it well. One shot this thing, we can't play around here. We really can't play around here. This battle has gotten very serious, very quickly. Very quickly. We have no potions left, we have no healing items, this is it. Vile Plume, okay. Okay, this is what we need to see. Uh, this is our last Pyro Ball though, so Cho, make it count. Please! Okay, good, we're hitting! Knock it out, knock it out, yes! Thank you, Cho. Oh my gosh, and now, this guy's down to one Pokemon. One Pokemon left. What's it gonna be? It is a Galvantula! Okay, that would be good, assuming we still had Pyro Ball. We don't have Pyro Ball, but we do have Flame Charge, this is not gonna one-shot it, though. This is not gonna one-shot it, or is it? No, it's just living. Please don't have thunder or something crazy. Don't knock me out. Guard split? What does that do? No damage? Perfect. Perfect. And now, let's knock this thing out with flame charge. Oh my goodness, yes! We got him. We got him. Wow. That was surprisingly, extremely difficult. I was not expecting us to have such a tough battle. Where are your eyes? Where are your eyeballs? Where are your pupils? Well, I got the shield back. <laughs> I don't know if it was worth two of my favorite Pokemon going down, though. To somehow have defeated the adorable Pokemon I go strolling with. You're certainly strong. However, it appears that my older brother was victorious. Sorry, Poketips. I lost to him. Younger brother? Isn't that the one who stopped Eternatus? Oh-ho! Now that I look closely, I believe it is! What a rude child, snatching up our chance at glory like that! Let us withdraw for now. Next time we shall bring Pokémon that will utterly defeat you! Yes, let's do that! And with that, farewell! Swordwort and Shieldbert, was it? I think I might know something about where those two weirdos went. Shall we go over it at the lab in Wedgehurst? Of course, Sonya. Let's go over there. And hopefully you give me the opportunity to change up my team. Okay, good. Wow, that was just not fair, not right at all. We're in the post-game now, but we're still losing lots and lots of Pokemon. Patronus! You are my legendary, you are my steed! And you should not have gone down there at all. That crit was terrible. Rest in peace, Patronus. That was so unfair. And Grindylo. Grindylo. Ugh. I kind of knew when I saw you Spirit Shackle, I knew that it was the end. After what, three howls? I knew it was the end. Ugh. You grew on me so much though, Grindylo. You were fantastic. Thank you for your help during the most important battles of my Pokemon career. So with that, I guess it's time to bring some new ones onto the team. Let's bring Sprout on the team. Let's bring Sirius, and I guess for a little bit longer, I'll keep that weird glitchy egg. Because I really want to see if it hatches into something. I feel like it's got to. It says that the egg will hatch soon, and the game wouldn't lie to me, would it? Also, I just noticed, if you look at its icon, it's a big question mark there. This is a really weird egg. This is my assistant. I've been busy with my research, so I decided to bring on some extra help. I've been keeping all the wishing stars that Chairman Rose has been gathering here in the lab. Things have been a little hectic around here, but my assistant has been handling things in a proper fashion. She's really been helping me keep things afloat. You're Pokétips, the champion, right? I'm really glad I've met you. It's an honor, truly. Come here for a moment, would you? There's something I want you to have a look at. You remember my power spot detector, right? It detects places where Dynamaxing is possible. Basically, when there's a high concentration of Galar particles, the readings spike. And that's how I figured it out. The power spot detector reacted when those two got close. Follow the readings from the power spot detector, and you might be able to find those sword and shield weirdos. 
Swordward and Shieldbert might claim to be royalty with their weird fancy names, but it's easier just to call them weirdos, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. I honestly, <laughs> you don't know how many times I stumble over saying their names. What is she doing? Goodness gracious, she must be a really fast texter. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's a bigger reaction than I would have thought. Looks like it's coming from Turfield Stadium? You could always Dynamax Pokemon at the stadium, so that's not exactly unusual. But these readings are way higher than normal. It can't be Eternatus. You already caught it. Well, it is a randomizer, so there are other Eternatus out there. Well, let's go to the stadium and check out and see what's going on over there. Maybe we'll run into those two again and get that little sword back for Hop. And hopefully, now that my team's all healed up too, we can get revenge against those guys, because I am mad! They took out Grindylo and Patronus. Like, who does that? Not even Leon was that bad. And honestly, with a crit and everything, that just makes me mad. I know Crab Hammer has a boosted crit rate, but still, I'm mad. Hello there, champion. So you came! I was actually in the middle of an exhibition match with peers. Then this Dynamax Pokemon came charging in. The audience and the staff already took shelter. Well, it sounds to me like it's still going off and going crazy in there. Pokey tips. I chased those red and blue guys and saw them head into Turfield Stadium. Then I heard that uproar, and there was no way I could leave it alone. I had to help out. So, er, sorry. I actually lost sight of them in all the rush. It's alright, buddy. I understand. Well, it looks like we have to take down that big Dynamax Pokemon together. Hopefully these teammates are better than the ones I had in the Eternatus battle, because those guys, ugh, they just annoyed me to no end. Let's go in here. It's been a real long time since we've been to this grass gym. Now, what's our opponent going to be here? I'm not sure if these are randomized or not. Oh, a Meowth! Is that normal or not? I don't remember. Either way, I can't exactly say I'm too scared of a Meowth, so we should be good here. And let's see, we have a Toxapex, Blastoise, and Big Trash Pile Pokemon, so we should be good here. Bellatrix, it's Dynamax time! Okay, yeah, I think these points are randomized. Normally, Meowth doesn't get max overgrowth. And this Meowth might have the moves of a Grass-type Pokemon. Alright. Well, I think that works out pretty well for me. Oh, wow, that Thrash does that much damage? We're good. Actually, maybe we're not good. Half of my teammates are just being silly again. All right, Bellatrix, let's see how much a Max Flutterby does to this Meowth. Thrash did a lot, and that Flutterby does a crazy amount. Nice. Take him out. Let's do it. Oh, okay, good. So it normally is this thing, the grass type. There is no trainer to be found. This really is a mystery wrapped in an enigma. How did this Pokemon manage to Dynamax? I'll make sure Turffield Stadium takes good care of this Pokemon for the time being. You lot really helped me out there. Thanks for that. Oh, and Poketips, if you should ever need my help, feel free to call me anytime. Well, well, well. Looks like that Dynamax nonsense has calmed down. Well, well, well. The champion as expected. Ah, there they are. So you were the guys causing the trouble all along. Well, I guess Milo was onto something when he said it felt a little suspicious in here. Ah, it's you two. I knew you'd be here. Give the rusted sword back. Well, I never. It's not like it's something that belongs to you either. Even if it were yours, we wouldn't give it back. <laughs> but it seems our experiment was a success, younger brother. Quite, quite. Next time, let us try to Dynamax an even stronger Pokemon. Yes, yes. At last, we shall reveal the true nature of Zashian and Zamazenta. You, despicable champion. We're going to keep letting Dynamax Pokemon run wild. If you want to stop us, do your best to chase after our splendid-looking bottoms. More like celebrity bottoms. And with that, farewell. So you were the ones that caused all this stop calm down hop you don't gotta act so hard but they're getting away yeah and they could be leading us to a trap it's a bad idea to run in unprepared Ugh. fine you're right i get it good let's all calm down for a sec thanks to them running their mouths we know their goal is to force pokemon to dynamax pokey tips peers we gotta stop those two well, it looks like me and the boys are back at it again. We teamed up together to take out Eternatus, and it looks like we're at the team up again to take out these celebrities. But for me, this is going to be personal. You don't get away with knocking out Grindylo and Patronus willy-nilly. Next time, my friends, we're gonna explore the gyms, we're gonna take out those Dynamax Pokemon, and we're gonna beat those two so badly that they're gonna want to get haircuts. And hopefully by some chance we get to hatch this weird glitchy egg too. There has to be some reason why Leon left us an egg and I really want to find out what it is. So my friends, thanks so much for watching and I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke.